Okay, so early in the fight, Raleigh Romero was able to apply pressure to Tank Davis by utilizing his lead foot to step into range while leaving the rest of his body back. One way to achieve this is by stepping your rear foot first, then your lead foot after when moving forward. This is, of course, the opposite of what a conventional boxing lesson would teach you, which would be to step your lead foot first, then follow with your rear foot. And this is something we see a lot from fighters like Shakur Stevenson and Canelo Alvarez, to name a few, to apply pressure. But first we see Romero follow the traditional technique of stepping in with his lead foot, then following with his rear foot. As you see, he steps in with his lead foot, that just follows with his rear foot. However, now that Romero is closer to punching range, he's going to try to step his lead foot into range while keeping his body back to try to trick Tank into thinking he's still out of range when in fact he is in range. This is distance deception. However, you see he changes it up here and step his rear foot first, which allows him to step his lead foot out further. And as you can see, Romero has stepped into punching range with his lead foot, but appears as though he is still out of range. And this is because the distance between two fighters is determined by the lead foot of each fighter. And Romero's is on right on top of Tank's lead foot. As you can see, the green line representing Romero's lead foot is very far from the red line, which represents his head. And this is what allows him to appear further than he really is. We even see Romero extend his lead hand to further sell the deception as you see his glove still falls short. However, this is only because the distance between his head and his lead foot is still large. All he has to do is lean into his lead foot to bring his head and body forward to make a punch reach. Comparatively, we see Tank Davis's lead foot and head aren't as far apart as Romero's as he is in a more traditional fighting stance. And here we see the real attack from Romero, which is this jab to the body, which ends up missing. And it ends up missing because Tank Davis saw through the trick the whole way and stepped back when Romero extended his lead hand to step out of range. And this is because he knew exactly what Romero was doing the whole time. Very high level boxing from both guys. And this is going to come into play again in possibly Romero's best moment of the fight. So as we can see, Romero is going to do the normal stepping in with the lead foot first, then following with the rear foot. However, here as he goes to attack Tank, we see Romero is going to try to trick Tank again by stepping with his rear foot first. So he could step his lead foot deeper in so he could reach further and catch Tank stepping back. It's pretty hard to see from this angle, but you see he steps his rear foot first, then steps his lead foot in, and this allows him to get into range to shoot this 1-2-1, one, one, where the final one catches Davis pulling back as he's trying to get away. And you see it from a better angle here, we're going to see he clearly steps with his rear foot first, then his lead foot to get into range. However, when Tank sees your trick, he's not going to want to fall for it again. So here we're going to see Romero is going to throw his right hand and is going to try it again. You see Romero steps his rear foot forward first off of his right hand and this allows him to step in deep again with his lead foot as we're about to see and is going to try to chase down Tank stepping back with another combination. So there you see Romero step in deep with the lead foot and shoot the 1-2-1 one -one combination but run right into a counter. And Tank was able to counter this because of this step back right here, which allowed him to see the 1-2-1 one -one combination where he could counter the final one in the combination. And that ends the fight right there with the one punch knockout. And that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you all for watching, and if you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel for more. I apologize for not uploading for an uncomfortable amount of time. I just bought my first house and just finished moving in, so that's very exciting. Plan to film some more videos around this new place once it's up and ready. But I'm back now, and as always, thank you all to my GOAT tier patrons for supporting the channel, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Albert Chen, Jeff, Dmitry Drozdov, Andre, Gostola Geza, and Mark Price. You guys keep the channel going, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.